Where did you take me, Daddy? I don't know. Sam, access the Lake Nut City delivery terminal. Hey, a path I laid down was used by someone else. What does that mean? What does laying down a path mean? Like, walking over a place enough that a road forms? Sam, to review. Your present objective is to extend the Cairo network from Lake Knot City to South Knot City. To that end, you'll need to utilize prepper shelters as way stations. Frankly, it won't be easy. Fragile's tried to get some of them on board, but you know how preppers are. More than a few won't want anything to do with the UCA. So we've got to prove to them they're better off with us. Figure out what they need and what we can provide, and then deliver. Do that, and they just might agree to join us. All right, get to it. The list of orders is on the terminal. Mistrust of the government seems to be Prepper's thing. Evo Devo unit delivery. These are all main quests. This is going to an engineer in the middle of freaking nowhere. This is prescription medicine delivery to an elder, also in the middle of nowhere. Gun parts and anti-BT weapon delivery, craftsman. I want to make all three deliveries in one go, but I have a feeling that's being a tad too greedy. Yeah? I think it's greedy. And overall, this has been a theme of how I play so far. I've been way too greedy, and I keep getting punished for it, and I just keep making the same mistake again and again, so I feel like maybe let's do one or two at a time, not all three. Especially because this one is fragile cargo, this one is delivery to a mountainous area, so a lot of little hazards here and there. <sighs> anyway, let's listen to them first. This one is 15 kilograms, should be okay. Your destination is a shelter south of Lake Knot City. The package you're carrying contains a network-ready Evo Devil unit. A special device that applies the principles of evolutionary biology to practical problems. When used in conjunction with a Cairo printer, it can recreate items from incomplete structural data. Oh, wow. It's a prototype, but so far our trials have been successful. The client is a civilian. We call him the engineer, who's agreed to put the unit through validation testing for us. Be careful. The EDU is a delicate piece of equipment that must be handled with care. If you don't, it can and will break. Oh, and the engineer is second gen. Born in the shelter. Not so good with people, but he's a whiz with machines. Or so I hear. Wait, how long has this whole thing been happening? Second gen? We're already in the second gen of this? Oh my god. First gen being somebody who's moved into the shelter. And then second gen is someone who's born in the shelter, right? Kind of like immigration. The client is a first gen prepper. Old school. First gen. Been in and out of shelter since before the Death Stranding. Deliveries of his medication have fallen behind, though, and he's about to run out. There's just one case you need to bring, but there are multiple packs inside. Every dose counts, so you'd best handle it with care. While the client's life isn't in immediate danger, he's probably having a rough time. Don't keep him waiting, huh? I see post boxes here. I'm wondering if instead of... God, I'm being greedy again, aren't I? I want to accept all three of them, and then maybe put it in a post box so that we don't have to come back to Lake Knot City itself. It seems possible because there are some post boxes here. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. This one's really light, 1.5 kilograms, just medicine. Oops. You'll be handing this one off to a guy we call the Craftsman. Repairs, modifications, you name it, he can do it. Makes weapons, too. Nothing lethal on account of his pacifism. In fact, if you give him something lethal, he'll turn it into something that isn't. Oh, wow. A tool designed purely for self-defense. That's what the gun parts listed in the order are for. Make sure they get to him and no one else. Gun parts. Guns make bodies, and bodies make craters. 
While you're at it, I'd also like you to transport some blood bags and hematic grenades. You know, the ones you field tested against BTs and delivered to Lake Knot City. You'd like to dole them out to the local porters. We've got no reason to keep them to ourselves, so I figured we may as well oblige him. Ooh, okay, we got a lot going on here, and I'm still wondering. Wait. You know how we already have a line here? Did we come out of here earlier? Because I thought we came out of the port right here. How come there's a line already? Oh, maybe that's like other people's stuff, making a road. Holy crap. Okay, BTs. BTs, BTs, BTs. Mm. This time, after what we went through last time, I'm really, really gonna try my best to avoid them. Usually, when I play a game that has stealth, I might be like, Okay, well, we've done enough stealth now, if I have been doing it for a while. Let's try to go guns a-blazing now. But objectively, in Death Stranding, it is not a good thing to be doing non-stealth. Because number one, it's difficult to kill the BTs. And number two, you'd be creating this gigantic crater that people can't really get across, and you're making the place worse objectively. So yes, our mission, our goal is to always, always avoid BTs. I think the moment I got the hematic grenades back in the capital city kind of flipped a switch in my thinking. Because then it was like, oh, I got a grenade, so now it's my time to get back at the BTs. Now I can be aggressive and get them. But I really have to revert back to the kind of thinking where it's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm a very lowly person here and I need to avoid them. They're dangerous. Do not mess with them. Okay, uh, I guess I'll accept all three. Can I right now? Do I have enough capacity? I should. So how come I can't confirm it? This is a somewhat unusual order. You're gonna want to review the key points in the summary. This one's fairly close by, but there's BTs on the way. Yeah. Am I accepting all three? Yeah, okay. An empty container tagged with a fake ID, aka decoy cargo. Could be useful for fooling folks who can't get enough of other people's deliveries. That's only assuming if the mules catch me, right? Mules and or anybody else? Apparently there's a lot of terrorists here, so maybe this is the point where we start seeing more homo demons. Sure... Uh, how many... Three kilograms. Three kilograms. Ten medals. Okay. Okay. Got a lot of stuff here. We can load it all onto the back first. Prescription medicine. Yeah, put it onto my suit because it's fragile. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, right shoulder, I guess. Smoke emitting decoy. Should I just carry this on... What? Can I not put this on my back? That doesn't seem to be an option right now. I guess it's meant to be on my... person. Okay, well obviously right now I have way too much garbage here. So what I'm gonna do is probably... I need to offload stuff. Okay, I think I finished reorganizing my inventory now. I made a few discoveries. These grenades? I thought that one line meant we had one grenade, but each grenade has different amount of charges. So this one, if you see on the right there, it actually says that there's five ammo, so we can use this grenade five times. I'm not sure if we'll need this many. Right now, hematic grenades, I got like 20,000, but um, we'll have it on me right now because it's not too heavy. I took away all of my extra PCCs, ladders, climbing anchors. One of each should be fine for now. I don't think we need to carry like 20,000 PCCs. And for blood bags, I realized that my utility pouch only fits four. So all the excess ones, I put it away. In addition to these ones, I think I'm also using one right now. If you look at the bottom left, it says plus 220. Mm -hmm. So this time, I'm probably going to focus on delivering to the elder and the engineer. The other guy... Let's just make sure this trip goes well first, and then we can come back for it. Let's not be greedy, okay? That's always been my pitfall here. So I think, um, I think we're ready now. Let's go. I'm not actually sure what to do with that smoke decoy cargo, though. 
That part is a bit of a mystery, but we'll see. Maybe once we get detected, we're meant to drop it on the ground so that mules will pay attention to that instead. Yeah, so it says that I don't have the gun part one. Oh, but I also don't have the bike now, so I have to walk. You're passing through mule territory. Move fast and quiet. Because if they see you, if they catch you, to think that their parents were porters like you who risked life and limb to try and keep our country together. And now their broken children carry on the work without any understanding of what it once meant. It's a ritual to them. The delivery. An insatiable addiction. And they'll be coming for you to get their next fix. Mules, as long as they don't come at me in a huge clump, I'm still not too worried about them because we can fight back. Although not with the grenades. Hmm. Oh, if we see BTs today, hmm. one of my goals, I think, is I also want to try using... Hey, where are the signs now? I'm sure there were BTs here before. <laughs> yeah. I want to try using some of the grenades. The non hematic ones. So this time I've brought out the number two grenade and the number zero grenade. Let's try using the number zero first. Focus on one at a time until we can properly figure out what they really do. This one still has four charges. Okay. And just to make sure, it is right here. Right, PCC, container spray. Oh, I really hope it all goes well today. There's number two. Condensed excrement. Oh, okay, this one... We... we know the effects. Explodes on impact utilizing compressed gas. But we don't know what its true effects are. Does the explosion do a damage or what? I don't think we've used number two before. The one that we picked up off the person that was helping me was number one. Oh, I haven't peed in so long, holy crap. How long or what's the capacity of my bladder? <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I don't really want to like pee on the ground here. So let's uh... Let's move away for now. And this time. Uh, hold up. The one that's closer to us is the engineer, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Should we map out a proper path? I want to say it's so close by, we shouldn't really need to. Oh, there you are. These weren't BT signs, these are mules. Which, in a way, is more annoying because BTs I can stealthily avoid, but mules, if I get detected, what do I do? In the very beginning, the first time I saw BTs, or mules, I don't know what I did, but I negated their little signal thingy. If I could do that again, that would be great, but I don't know if that's possible. And, uh, I mean, I want to get going, but I also want to check out really quickly here. Where were the gameplay tips again? Just want to check out what to do with the smoke grenade, or a smoke cargo, actually. Because it says that the smoke comes out if it gets destroyed. But how do I destroy it? Do I just drop it on the ground if it gets detected? Oh, it's right at the top here. Use right and R1 to select and place decoy cargo. Decoy cargo can be placed directly on the ground or carried in your hands. Oh, okay. Oh, in that case... Maybe what I should be doing right now is, instead of having it on my back, I should just carry it in my hands. Wouldn't that be the best option? It's gonna be annoying because I have to, like, constantly hold on to it. But if I hold on to it, it means I can drop it quickly. Yeah? Does that theory check out? Just to make sure, if I drop it. Right. Okay. I got it, I got it. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, if there was like a watchtower around here, that would be really good. Weapons restrictions lifted. Cause I need to know where the mules are before we actually walk off. Hey, there's another little cluster here. Should I join in? Why not? I need to pee anyway. What's the maximum, I wonder? If we get near the maximum, is it bad for us? 
It's definitely bad to hold your pee. No, that'll mess up the cargo. Oh, come on. How about here? Are you going? There you go. <laughs> Would the pee actually mess up the cargo? It has Keralium, so it might. Maybe it'll start decaying or something. Is it just a coincidence that there's also crypto biodes around here? Hmm. They're all kind of floating towards me. What's going on? Oh, whoops. Oh, I gotta not move around. If I want to keep the mushroom in one place. I pooped earlier, but I didn't pee. Okay. Cool. Oh, I don't know which one's my mushroom. There's too many. Pick all these up while I'm here. Thank you. Oh, like I was saying though. Are there any watchtowers around here? Or maybe it's my time to build one. Wait. Oh, God. No. No. There's already a BT thing here. One hundred medals! Seems perfect for building something here. What's this? Auto paver. We'll rebuild a road when enough materials are supplied to it. Oh, okay. Hold on then. And since there's materials literally right here... Why not? Oh, I didn't unequip my peeing thing. <laughs> so it's showing me live how many milliliters I'm gaining. What is this thing? What did you say it was? Paver? Uh. Do you want. Wait, I'm looking at my watch right now, right? Not the thing. Auto paver. A highway used to run through there, back in the day. The first expedition team left behind a paver, but to finish the job, you'll need more than that. Well, I'll help out. Not much, but it's something. You also need chiral crystals? I can do that. I got a whole ton. Yeah, have all of it. I can do all 150. Cool. Not the metals, not the ceramics, but uh, I did my part. Hopefully when we come back, something more will be here. Hey, likes received from all Bridges members. Okay, no, but I'm still wondering about how to build a- or a, is there a washtower around here? Because that would be really good. I don't see any around me, so I think this is probably my cue to build one myself. Yeah? Can I just build it right here? 4,000 likes! People. Yeah, for some reason! It seems like the crypto biotes hang around the mushrooms. Huh. Do we have like an in-game explanation for why there's mushrooms here? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'd also love to build a post box, but not right now. Sorry, Sam. I'm gonna have to ask you to build that somewhere else. I'm flagging that spot as off-limits. Oh, what? Here is not okay? You lied to me. It was just that one area when it was yellow. That's all. Try not to forget my smoke cargo here. Construction complete. There we go. It's always good to have a watchtower near the base just to see what we're dealing with around us. And in general, like you would want to know what's around us, right? Oh, maybe nobody built one here because I don't see anything. <laughs> Is it that? Yeah, those are definitely people, guys. 
How do the preppers deal with this then? Oh jeez, there's actually a lot. The preppers seem directly beyond the mules. How the hell do I... Oh, if I had a bike, this would be a piece of... Ugh. But I don't. <laughs> I don't. Oh shoot, man. The elder is actually really damn far away. Especially in comparison to this guy. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, uh, trying to think of a plan here. The problem, my problem is a sensor. I can hide in the grass, or at least I like to think I can hide in the grass because I don't actually see any grass around here. I can hide visually, but I don't know how to hide away from the sensor. And maybe there isn't a way. Maybe we just gotta subdue everybody. In which case, it might be better for me to freaking put down all my stuff first and then deal with this. Seriously, because my cargo, it's important. Especially the medicine. It's fragile. Mm. Memory chip. What is that? <sighs> thinking, thinking, thinking. I just don't know how to get around the sensor, is all. And if they get me, it's pretty much a run. I gotta break out into a run forever. This smoke emitting grenade. Not sure if I know how to use it properly, but um. Well, it might be better for me if I at least, like, have a path in my thing here. So my guy's here. Oh dear, this is kind of... <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we, we can kind of, like, go around like that. But that just seems... And then there was timefall here, too. No, there just isn't a good way. I don't think so. Okay, you know what? Safety first. Safety first. Let's try... <laughs> Likers get liked. I don't know how we're gonna make it across the water and the mountains here, but let me at least plot a path here. Are these even viable paths, or are they like mountains? I'm not sure at this point, but this is the least of what I can do. And actually, I'm not sure why, but it doesn't tell me the area of the mules anymore. Is it because I don't know about the sensors, or is there no sensor? Because remember before, we used to see this huge orange area, but we don't see one here. Hmm. Well, let me let me try going this way. Meanwhile, I am checking out for sensor pole thingies stuck to the ground. Okay, me running- ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I'm all like not heavy right now, so I can run, but... Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. If I run, I think my shoes get undurable quicker. Oh, there was one of the things. Okay. <laughs> Try my best to get around it. The engineer lies outside the area, right? So theoretically, we should be able to just wrap around the whole thing. It's a very big should be able to. Like, I don't... <laughs> In theory, it works. Shit. Shh, well. Well. What do I do with the smoke cargo? Not sure yet. Okay, in this case, I'm just gonna make a mad run for the actual thing then. No more looping around. They think I'm over there right now, so I will run back. I think the scanner probe, to evade it, it has something to do with sending out my own probe after it sends it, but I'm not really sure on the mechanics. And I don't think it taught me yet. If somebody finds me, I wonder if I have time to drop all the important cargo first, just so we're not bringing it into a battle. And then we'll try to deal with them. It's over there. There's two more mule guys over there. My hand is kind of cramping up a little bit right now because I've been trying to carry that smoke cargo with me. I don't know how to use it. Should I just drop it? How do I make sure it gets destroyed? Mm, I probably should have tried it out before 
bringing it and hoping it'll be useful for me. <laughs> Shit. Do they know I'm here? Did that work? No! <laughs> F that. Attacks from the front can be blocked. They've seen me. They've seen me, but it doesn't mean I've lost. Or does it? <laughs> whoa, whoa, guys, please. I'm almost out of your area. What we can do later on is maybe we can come back. Like after we deliver both to the engineer and the elder. Maybe what I can do is drop all of my cargo, get everybody. And then that's how we'll be able to cross this place. But somehow we made it this time. They forgot about me. Somehow. Hey man, thanks for the ladder. This is really useful here. A little bit scary though. Thanks for the help. Engineer, why do you choose such a <laughs> This kind of place is a bit dangerous, isn't it? Or maybe you have some kind of deal with the mules. Or <sighs> maybe you just don't have cargo. Do you want to get connected to the chiral network? Yeah. I'm okay right now because of my fragile ID that Fragile gave me. Not because of my bridges status. So the moment I wrap around and he sees my bridges hat, I don't think he'll be very happy about that. But hey, that was a pretty successful trip, even though we got discovered. Good. Delivering At this point, I'm not sure if I hate mules or BPs more. Thanks. Sam Bridges, I presume? I've heard of you. The man trekking across the country trying to reconnect folks. I appreciate you bringing me this. I do. Times have been tough without Fragile Express to handle deliveries. So let me just check the cargo. Huh. Wow. You took really good care of this. Yes. I'll let Bridges know how the VNV testing goes. Thanks again. You are very welcome. Yeah! Fragile Express. UCA status. So I don't think you want to get connected. Or do you? Yeah, that's more like it. Zero damage. Whew. It's a good thing the mules aren't too insistent on following me. I need you to understand something. It's about Fragile. You might have heard she helped terrorists. That she didn't care who got hurt. But I'm telling you, that's gotta be bullshit. Her and her people put their lives on the line to get us what we needed. She's a hero through and through. Look, I was born in the shelter. The only world I've ever known is within these walls. So when people talk about America, I can't even begin to imagine it. But if that Cupid connects me to everyone else, I won't have to. So yeah, I want to join the UCA. Okay. I want to see what I've been missing. Second Jenners miss on this perspective of knowing what America was like before the Death Stranding. The sky, the shelter is all he's ever known. Oh my god. Do you see how many little sub areas were in that section there? Even though we're kind of halfway through now. Yeah, that guy looks very Asian. Must be somebody... Oh, this is Junji Ito, right? The guy who was working on PT with Kojima. And a very well-known horror manga artist in his own right. Uh-huh, power skeleton. What the heck is this? Engineer has provided design data for the following. Smoke grenade. 
Oh. Oh, lovely. Even more mules. <laughs> Before you reach the elder, too. That's lovely. And with that, my standalone 3D printer is capable of chiral printing. Assuming it works, the Evo Devil unit should enable me to replicate all kinds of archived objects. We can rebuild America one piece at a time. In the meantime, I can use the network to see what's going on in the cities. Track mule and terrorist activity. It's like you brought me the whole wide world in that package. Thank you, Sam. Let's do business again. Oh yeah. I've got a little something I'd like you to put through its paces. An assist unit I developed myself. Works perfectly in sim trials, but I need someone to test it out on solid ground. And if it makes your job a little easier, all the better. He has given you a power skeleton. Sam, active skeletons attach to your legs and augment your physical capabilities. The one you've got there is a load-bearing AS, designed to reinforce your joints. Just wearing an AS will provide additional support, but you can also boost it to maximize its potential. Go ahead and take it for a spin. You won't be disappointed. Okay, how do I use it? Remove cargo and equip. On my legs. That means any cargo that was on my hips are now displaced. I don't even know what was on my hips. Oh, probably... Grenades. Yeah. What was here, right? On the suit. So how does this work then? An active skeleton that reduces cargo burden. Oh, it just makes it so that my capacity is now way higher. 245. Press L3 for an additional boost that will allow you to sprint while carrying loads that you'd ordinarily struggle to lift at all. Beware that boosting will drain battery at an accelerated rate. Keep an eye on your battery levels. Battery will gradually recharge in sunny or cloudy weather. Oh, cargo cannot be attached to the hips while using a power skeleton. So it's not just for my hips, it's for my entire body. It just makes it so that I can carry more. But right now, our load is so light that I don't think we need to use it. So maybe let's try this back when we're in a safe place and we can try to experiment and stuff. Cool, thank you. Okay, we still have the prescription medicine to deliver here. Thank you kindly. Come around again soon. Thank ya. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. They just freaking put it on the ground here. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, I got 700 likes! What the hell did I do? <gasps> the euphoria and oxytocin is rushing in. <laughs> I just wanted to really quickly look and see if there is any standard orders. This is back to Lake Knot City. If I'm going back anyway, then yeah, I do want to do that. Oh, now we see the orange area. Probably because this guy's on the chiral network. I see. Okay. But there's also another mule group right here before we reached the elder, so that's absolutely wonderful. Mm. Tell you what, probably what I'm gonna do is go to the elder. Accept whatever's there, come back here, get that, and then we'll just bum rush it back to Lake Knot City. How about that? I can accept it right now, but let's not. And just out of curiosity, right now, what I have. What is considered cargo? This is not cargo. This is not cargo. Do I have anything on me right now that is actually considered cargo besides the smoke emitting decoy cargo? Prescription medicine. Hmm, okay. <sighs> and that is something we have to deliver, so I can't... I can't go without it. Okay, that's fine. I can make a smoke grenade now? Which is good for what? Grenade that releases a large cloud of smoke when thrown, obscuring the view of those caught up in it, and causing them to cough violently. Non-lethal. Everything we do is non-lethal to the humans. Yeah, I think we're okay for now. I gotta figure out how to use that smoke cargo properly. Oh, 
All right, that's one prepper way station. Two to go. Yeah, so we don't want to go to the craftsman right now. Thanks. Until next time. Freaking elder lives like 20 miles away. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, even if we waste this cargo, I do want to try and see how the heck this works properly. It just says carry in left hand or right hand. Use to distract mules and others. Okay, so maybe when we get detected, we drop it right away, and then people will keep rushing to that piece. And then when they go investigate it, they'll get smoked. Is that what happens? I feel like we're not going to stick around long enough to see the effects of it because we're trying to run away, but uh, I'll try to do that for next time. Hey, you're lying to me. I'm pretty sure there were signs here. Yeah, there's some mules here. Someone put a post box right in the mule territory. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Generator. Sam. Here. Okay, so preliminarily, I'm looking at this right now, and there is a mountain. But there also seems to be a path here. So how about we do like this? Oops. Remove it all. Yeah. Hey, I'm not doing this right. Hold on. Remove it all. Put a thing on that. <laughs> I'm just not doing this right. I'm not connecting them properly. But yeah, that's my plan right now. Ah, good enough. It seems like this area shouldn't be affected by mules, but maybe I want to walk more to this side if I really want to make sure of that. And I'm really hoping this little waterway here is how we can get to the Elder. Because even just looking around, it's... Well, I can tilt the map, right? If I... How do I do that again? I did it before. Here we go. But even then, it's not a super clear indication of the elevation. More importantly, this is the only viable path that I can see through the land. So let's hope that's correct. We want to check out for those pesky mule probes, though. And here! I think it's out of the range of the watchtower, so we're not going to know where the mules are coming from. The watchtower is pretty indispensable, I feel. Damn. Although here, I think it's probably okay that we don't have one. Oh, am I using the active skeleton right now? The effects remain active as long as you have battery remaining. There is some stuff over there. Am I running faster because of the skeleton? My walking sounds sound a little bit different. Oh, I think we're okay today. Somebody have a ladder? You know what? I don't need to use it, but I'll use it, and I'll give you a like. Anybody hear me? Yeah, someone's around here. Are you resting here? I think so. I haven't really tried resting on the road. <laughs> Mainly because it's so stressful. Like, why would I want to rest in the middle of my very stressful journey, as opposed to getting it done right away? Kind of feels like procrastinating. But, if we do find a nice body of water, I would like to go there and maybe chill out with my BB. Hmm, okay. It's back to the engineer. Probably I could have gotten this when I came back. Because I do think I'm going to come back this way, but... We'll see. Yeah, we're okay here. There's... Wait, what? No. Of course, of course. They never let me get through. Without rain. Yeah, it seems a little bit impossible for us to get through by cutting up the mountain. So I think we do have to go around this way. Am I kind of sprinting with my power skeleton? I'm still holding on to the smoke cargo this whole time, so it's a little bit hard for me to um, use the scanner. Mm, even this is kind of a hard road to walk, though, because... Surprise! There's not actually a road! Which is probably a good time for me to use a rope somewhere, right? 
Actually, yeah, heck yeah. Why am I walking in accordance to the terrain? I can freaking build ladders and stuff. Um, I don't have a chiral network. Okay, what do I have? I have a ladder. I have a climbing anchor. I don't think I've used a climbing anchor before. So I can try that to begin with. Can I even get up there though? Okay, I'm gonna put the cargo on my back. Because it's a little bit hard for me to um, do anything. Oh, but the climbing anchor, you can only put it to go down. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it's better for me to just go up here for now. And then maybe when I get up, I will put down a rope for anybody who wants to use it. Don't know if it's gonna be in a useful location though, because if I'm just putting down an anchor like that, it's not gonna be one that I've used personally. So I don't know if it's gonna be useful. But I will anyway. Uh, throw down the rope. The other way. The other way, Sam. This way. If you wanna try going down this way first. I don't have to do this, right? <laughs> yeah? Hopefully this is good enough. Okay. Maybe when we get connected to the network, we'll see that somebody else has already done something like that. Silly me. Still trying to go in according to the river landscape. But well, we don't gotta do that. We have ladders, we have ropes. We're a mountain man. Okay. Getting a little bit deep into this territory now. We see some metals. Would be nice to pick up if we could. Lots of materials. If I can bring it back to the paver, that would be really awesome. I understand that the whole thing is kind of collaborative, but I do want to build something by myself just so I can see it get built the moment I'm there. Hold on, is that the Elder? It is. Yes? <laughs> I'm whistling to him. Or her. Isn't that sad? I don't even know. There's some sandal weed here. Don't think we need it. Another job well done, hopefully. Perfect. Wow, this is great. Excellent job, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, zero percent. All right. Good, good, good. Would you also like to be connected to the network? Hey, bridge links. Please, somebody else. You have been awarded the title of Master Handler. Carry on with your work to earn further accolades. It's all about earning the likes and the oxytocin here. Bridge link grade increased. You've achieved bridge link grade 10. You can now make strand contracts with other players. Oh, okay, now I can. You can now make cooperation requests in order to ask other players to contribute materials to your structures. The period for which you can send likes has been increased to five seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, my star is shaping up nicely here. Aside from delivery time. <laughs> ah, so you're here on behalf of Fragile Express. Please tell me you put the terrorists behind you. When Fragile, the daughter of the founder, started associating with other couriers, things what? started getting scary around here. Are you kidding me? Rumors say that she caused the explosion at Middle Knot City, and there's a part of me that believes it. Of course, she could be just another one of their victims. Are you connecting the chiral network? 
I don't mind a contract with Bridges, but I'm not going to join the UCA. Go ahead if you're fine with that. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. If you are. Maybe you already heard it from Fragile. But preppers who don't want to be a part of the UCA can still sign a contract with Bridges to join the network. They get to use our delivery services and other basic Cairo network infrastructure, much like our full members. Similarly, you'll be able to use their Cairo printing facilities to replenish your supplies. They are not, however, obligated to exchange data with us. So don't expect them to share intel or help with the development of new tech. In an ideal world, everyone would be a part of the UCA, of course. But failing that, we want everyone to at least be a part of the network. They can always change their minds after the fact. True. The Cupid will interface differently with the terminal depending on the type of contract. So connect your Cupid to confirm. I wonder if we'll ever run into situations where we connect somebody who has malicious intentions and then they somehow mess up the whole network. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be this elder guy, even if that happens, so... Hmm. Are you kidding me, though? I was building this whole theory in my head about how everyone's named after their profession or the place they're at. Jake Wind or whatever Lake Sam Porter. Remember what I said about Fragile back in part one? About how, hey, she has a weird name, but I don't think it's because she's like the family daughter or anything. And now you actually tell me she is the CEO's daughter. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Elder. Wait, so Fragile is like, not just a regular person then. She, she actually is the CEO's daughter and... Why the hell is she making deliveries? She should be sitting in an office somewhere and just chilling out. Who's her dad? The company just got too big. In times like these, we should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes. Republics, federations, coalitions, states. Connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking for trouble. Sorry. It's been a while since I last talked to anyone. <laughs> Travel safe. See you around, Zen. He is an elder. He has the experience of life and all, so he's seen how people betray and. Good job, Sam. That's two prepper way stations integrated into the Cairo network. Just one more left. Yeah, one more that I have to go back to Lake Knot City for because I was being cautious. In hindsight, probably we would have been okay, but hindsight is 2020, and I'm not- I don't regret this. We made sure it's safe first. Hmm. Sam, you can now submit upgrade requests for structures. If there's one you use a lot, you should definitely consider it. You can ask other players to help upgrade any structures you have built. Doing so will result in that structure being marked with the icon. Structures marked in this way are more likely to be shared with other players, and when those players respond to your request by donating materials, they will receive bonus likes. Okay, cool. Ah, <sighs> wow. Ah, so my carrying capacity is pretty big now. Cargo for delivery, one. Other cargo, 19. <laughs> Mules. No BTs in the area just yet. Mainly dominated by mules. If there's mules, there's no BTs. Which I suppose is a good thing. Good thing we didn't go around this way because there's BTs or mules right here. But none on this side. Okay, well, we gotta go back now. We will go back to the engineer. Oh, do you have any contracts for me? Forgot to check. This is to the engineer. We can go back by ourselves. Yeah? Highly prized vintage wine to the engineer. Okay. Wait, is it to the engineer? Yes. And then, reports from the early days of the Death Stranding. Uh, to the Lake Knot City? Yes. William Lake. Hmm. Books. You just probably put this on our back. 
or mm, cargo old wine. Yeah, okay, attached to my suit. Sure. Back to the engineer should be okay. I don't think I have to worry about mules. Unless if they came here right after I arrived at the Elder. That wouldn't be cool. Oh! Order assigned. I think I should probably reorganize that a little bit. Yeah, make it look a little bit better. And just to confirm, so instead of carrying the cargo by hand, the smoke one, I can just come here and select it. Ah, okay, okay, cool. That's a lot better than me trying to carry it the whole time. Awesome. Okay, we can just pretty much go down the way that we came from. Weapons restriction. But I wonder if we can't pick up some metals along the way. Especially if they're close by. If they're not, then whatever. But I thought I saw a few when we were coming here. Hmm. They all seem to be gone now. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, it's right here. More cargo means mm, we might be a bigger target when the mules chase after us. But I run really dang fast now with the power skeleton. Am I running faster? Or am I just feeling that way? Not sure, but hopefully that means we can outrun them, if it comes to that. Should I make a ladder right here? Where am I even? Yeah, okay, why not? These are all kind of broken. Because I've been carrying these from the very beginning. You see there's a lot of rust here and stuff. So probably a good thing for me to make use of it before it dies. Okay. Wait! Don't- don't take away my markers. I don't know where I'm going now. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I needed to go this way. I need to put a marker on this again. And then we'll just go back the same way we came. Where are you, engineer? That's the craftsman. Gun parts. Engineer. Okay, so we didn't need to come this way. <laughs> I built the ladder for no reason. Which makes sense, because when I came here, I didn't use a ladder. Whatever, it's fine. There's nothing bad about placing extra equipment. Just means it'll be time for me to get some new ones that are not broken. The ladder- the rope I placed down myself. Now I can probably use it as I'm gonna leave here. Oh. We know there are BTs in the distance though, because we saw the rainbow earlier. It just so happens that it's not right at this specific location that we're at. Um. Am I really going the right way? Yeah, I feel like I didn't go here earlier. No, I've kind of made things difficult for myself. I don't know how to get back to that path, but what I can do is probably just... put down a climbing anchor right here. I don't have to go back the exact same way as last time. One thing still has two. Like, this one anchor has two more anchors. <laughs> to ammo, I guess. Hopefully it's long enough. Oh, I should probably drink some energy when I'm down there too. Yeah, it's a long rope. I got it. I got it. Lovely. And there's the other one I had. The canteen seems to automatically fill itself when it rains, when we run across water. Really fancy canteen. Self-filling. Hey, what you know? This turned out to be useful after all. 
I hope it doesn't erode too soon though, because I'm pretty sure the um, condition on them wasn't too great to begin with. Yeah, this is great! Especially with a long rope, because then you get an extra insurance. Alright, let's go home, buddy. 